Right, so this is the next question that we have. Okay, so in this question, uh, we've been asked to find the value of these three ratios, given the value of theta as pi over three. So the first one is uh, sine two pi. So we have sine or sine two theta rather. So sine two theta, and we've been given theta to be pi over three. So this one is just going to be found by replacing uh, theta with pi over three there. So this is just the same as sine two, and then you put uh, pi over three in brackets like that. Hence you get something like sine two pi over three. So this is what you're going to get. So sine two pi over three is simple. So first of all, what you do is you convert this, um, convert this angle to degrees if you want to make your work easier. So we know to say pi in radians is equal to 180 degrees. So we're converting two pi over three to what? Two degrees, which we don't know. So when we cross multiply there, uh, uh, pi times x, we're getting x pi, which is equal to then two over three times 180. It's just the same as say two times 180, or we say two pi times 180, everything divided by three. So three into three is one, three into 180 will get 60. Two times 60, we're getting um, 120 yeah, times pi there. So we are going to have x pi this side is equal to 120 pi. So we divide by pi divided by pi. So we're getting um, the value of x as 120 degrees. So the value of x is simply just 120 degrees. So we can now find the actual value. So we've just finished converting. So now we can replace what well, is a uh, two pi over three with 120. So um, sine two pi over three is just the same as sine 120 degrees. Then sine 120 degrees can find the special angle which we can use to find the value of this. So we subtract um, 120 from 180. When you say 180 minus 120, you get uh, 180 minus 120, you're getting 60. So sine 60 degrees, simply just root three over two. But when you look at 120, is it in the first, second or uh, third quadrant or fourth quadrant? It's in the second quadrant because it's above 90 but below 180, so it's like this. It's somewhere there. And then in this quadrant, um, we know to say sign is positive, hence we leave the answer like that. Okay. So this is uh, simple. So I think this one is straightforward. Okay, let me just do them quickly. So. We can convert this in advance if we want to make our it easy. So we know to say pi is equal to 180 degrees. So pi over three is equal to um, x. When you cross multiply there, we're getting x pi is equal to three there, one, three into 180 is 60. So we have 60 pi. Divide by pi, divide by pi, meaning the value of x becomes 60 degrees. So meaning, Pi over three is just the same as 60 degrees. So what is theta I'm going to be putting uh, 60 degrees. So we know to say our theta is equal to 60 degrees. So on this one, uh, this one now becomes simple. So we have two sine theta. So two sine theta is just the same as two sine uh, 60 degrees. So sine 60 degrees is simple. Uh, sine 60 degrees, uh, like what we found in the previous uh, question. There's a part where we found sine 60 degrees. So this one is root three over two. So when you multiply this, you're just getting root three as the answer. This one will do the same. So our theta that we found is 60. So we just divide by two. So cos theta over two is just the same as cos 60 degrees over two. 
So when you divide this, you get cos 30 degrees. We know to say cos 30 degrees is simply just the root of three over two. But look at the angle. Um, we have to look at the angle. The angle that we've been given is 60 it's in the first quadrant. So we can leave it like that because all angles in the first quadrant are um, positive. So we do this one. So tan squared theta is just the same as tan theta times tan theta. So apart is, uh, so wh what is theta here? Why well, is theta? We can uh, replace with uh, what we found, it was 60. So we put 60 while there's theta there. So I want to have something like this. Okay. So while theta, I'm putting 60 degrees. So we have tan 60 there. So, tan 60, tan 60 is simple. Remember we said tan 60 from the table that I showed you how to draw. So in case you want the, to know how to find these special angles or where I'm getting them from, you can just text me on WhatsApp. I'll send you the link where I explained the simplest way to find these special angles. Okay, so tan 60 is the root of three. And then we also have another tan 60 there, which is the root of three. So when you multiply the two, you're getting three as the answer because root three times root three will give you a root of three squared. This squared and that squared cancels, hence you're just remaining with three. Therefore, the answer is just three. Okay, let's quickly move on to the next one. Question four. Or oh, before you can proceed, do we have any questions on this one? 